Give free in game.
Can you guys hear us okay? We're just going to give it a little bit of time for people to start shuffling in, make sure audio is good, y'all can hear us, everything like that. As soon as we get confirmation, we'll, we'll get going. from the volume, microphone but other than that we should be good sound is fine sound is fine great okay. cool let me let me raise it for y'all just a little bit make it a little bit louder for everyone just to make sure y'all can hear us and in just a second we should be good all right let a couple people in really quickly and cool all right. Great. Awesome. So Good how's to go. everyone doing today? Everyone in chat, thank you for joining us, by the way. Uh, this is going to be a really cool thing that yeah. I'm pretty excited about being we're, able to do this. We're very excited to kick this off. All right. And y'all should be able to hear us a little bit better. We gave it a nice 20% boost. My Dark Angel, hey, how's it going? Oh my gosh, lots of people in chat right now. This is awesome. Lady Croft, lots of uh, lots of Lady Croft, actually. We're seeing <laughs> Croft is a common name in the in the it, users it, right now. It tends to be. That makes <laughs> sense. Awesome. Uh, Should we get the, going? Love the Star Trek shirts. Um, not bad. Still a little quiet. All right, I'm going to give it one, one more, more boost. little boost. Um, but in just a second, we'll be going live for all y'all. So, there we go. All right. Very cool. Awesome. So, good. Yeah. Good to go. Awesome. So, welcome to the Crystal Compass Live. Uh, who are we? If you don't know who we are, I am Megan Marie. I'm the Senior Community Manager at Crystal Dynamics. And I don't think a lot of you have had the chance to meet Morgan. Hi, uh, I'm Morgan. I'm your community lizard. Uh, <laughs> I joined a couple months ago. Uh, we're working with Megan. It's been super awesome to, to be able to do all this, to be able to meet you, the fans. I've been a Tomb Raider fan. My God, it feels like my entire life now. <laughs> um, and so being able to work here at Crystal Dynamics has been an absolute dream. So I've been like loving this, especially a chance to do this, to bring and, yeah. live streaming and Twitch to Crystal Dynamics. Which One awesome. of the reasons we were really, really excited to bring Morgan onto the team is because she is a pro at this live stream stuff. So we, uh, the Crystal Compass is essentially, for now, the plan is that we're gonna have it replace the podcast. For years and years and years, we had people say, we love the podcast, but we wanna see video. We wanna see what you're talking about. Showing is better than telling. So that's what we're trying to do with the Crystal Compass Live. Crystal Compass Live is gonna be our monthly higher production show where we go through news and have gameplay segments and so on. But hopefully in the future, we'll be able to just jump on a couple of times a week and do off the cuff you know, demos and show content and chat with you guys. We wanna get on Twitch more. So we're really looking forward to continuing this and uh, we'll ask for some feedback at the end of the stream so we can keep improving. All right, Morgan, do you wanna go over some general chat rules real quick? Yeah, so um, everyone, thank you for joining us. We really strongly encourage you to talk in chat, talk with other fans, talk with us. We're gonna be watching chat throughout the entire stream. So we wanna be able to hear from you, to be able to talk to you and everything like that. That being said, we do have a couple little, you know, set of rules that we wanna make sure that everyone follows. Now you can actually scroll down at the very bottom of the Twitch channel and you'll see all of them posted. But just in general, be cool to everyone, you know, be nice to everyone in chat. Um, we're all here to have a really great time celebrating all the stuff that we really love and that we're excited about. And we want you to be excited too. So make sure that you can help make this a positive environment for everybody. And again, if you are unsure about any of the rules, you can actually check below on the Twitch stream and you'll be able to see all of them. Perfect. All right, so in this episode, you can expect we're gonna run through some news. We're gonna highlight community, which is something we wanna do every episode. Uh, then we're gonna show off Rise of the Tomb Raider on the Xbox One X, which is very exciting. We're going to do a product showcase showing off the Lara Croft in the Temple of Osiris statue that just shipped, and it's so beautiful. Uh, we're gonna do some giveaways, and Morgan's just gonna quickly tell you what to expect with the giveaways so you know 
how to engage and when to stick yeah. around to. Uh, the giveaways are going to be really cool. So our friends over at Logitech ended up giving us a bunch of really, really cool swag. So we got mice, we got keyboards, we got all sorts of wonderful goodies for you. So uh, when we get to the actual giveaway portion, you'll be able to track that at the very bottom of the screen where you see news, community, gameplay, giveaway. We're going to get to the giveaway spot. And when we do, we're going to have a word that you're going to be posting. And we'll post it in chat for you. You'll be able to see it. But when we do post it, all you have to do is just copy and paste that, post that little text blurb in chat, and then you'll be automatically entered to win. Now, we do have to be mindful of certain things. So for our giveaways, we have to be making sure that we can only give away to the following areas. Uh, so the 50 states, the United States of America, District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, Canada, except for Quebec, and the United Kingdom are all eligible to be able to receive prizes while you're in chat. Again, when you're in chat and we get to the giveaway portion, we're going to post a phrase. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful little keyword. And when you <laughs> post it, you'll be automatically entered to win. We'll and we'll, sh we'll show off all the content or all of the items. We have a, they're great. Logitech also helped us out with the cameras that we're using. Yeah. Uh, so it's been it's been really nice getting their assistance, getting our tech set up going. All right, on to news. Yeah. Great. Awesome. Okay. So the biggest story is the Xbox One X. So Rise of the Tomb Raider is coming to Xbox One X on November 7th. That's when all the enhancements are dropping. Uh, they have three distinct visual modes, which we'll go over a little bit later with our brand director, Rich Briggs. And uh, we're going to show off the trailer quickly. Oh, yeah. Uh, so you guys can have a chance to see that before we go into the gameplay a little bit later. Peggy 18. I'm on the right track. I only saw the ruins for a moment. <laughs> and now Trinity is here. Find the Prophet's tomb. Yes. The tomb was empty. I think they were looking for the divine source. Ah! If this thing could really unlock the secret of immortality, it would it would change everything. Now I understand what Dad was going through. Wait till you see this view, Lara. Take my hand. Thanks. Look at that. It's amazing. Okay, you'll get to see more of Rise of the Tomb Raider on Xbox One X in just a few minutes when we show you the actual demo. So, yeah, what's up next, Morgan? We're going to have a lot of really cool stuff. Um, so, besides Xbox One X, which we'll be having a little bit later, this year happens to be our 25th anniversary for Crystal Dynamics. It's impressive. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> 25 years. It's been super cool. I remember a bunch of the games from when I was super young and little. I remember a lot of people loved Gex, of course. Oh, one yeah. of their first gaming memories. Oh my gosh. So Gex what have we been doing awesome. for, for the 25th anniversary? So for the 25th anniversary, we've been trying to do a lot to be able to give back to the community, to everyone around. And um, we've been having a bunch of really awesome events for that. So for instance, we did the Longest Day. And for those who aren't familiar, the Longest Day helps Alzheimer's in terms of being able to raise funds for everybody in need. We ended up having a really fun uh, <laughs> obstacle, obstacle course. course. We kind of got bruised up a little bit. But Lots of scraped elbows. It. Oh my gosh. But it was yeah. great. We, uh, we ended up raising over $6,000 for uh, Alzheimer's and helping people through that. And on top of that, very recently, we actually partnered up with Game Changer 
uh, we had a bunch of this wonderful bundle of our older titles, a bunch of uh, familiar ones from like uh, Legacy of Cain yep. and a bunch of others, including some of our newer titles as well. And uh, to help children in need in hospitals and kids that really, really need that. And we ended up raising over $30,000 for it. Uh, so we're going to keep looking for opportunities oh, yeah. to raise funds for great causes. We're looking into doing a big extra life drive. Mm -hmm. And it's November, correct? Yeah, so yes. we're starting to kick that off. We know that there's a team Tomb Raider community in the extra life community. And we want to contribute this year. So look, look out for that at a future date. Mm -hmm. Next bit of news. All right, so Underworld is backwards compatible. This was kind of a big surprise. We just dropped it on you guys last minute. Um, so Tomb Raider Underworld on 360 is now backwards compatible on the Xbox One, which means you can just pop in your disc. Or if you bought it digitally, you can play it. You can go to the, your ready to download list and uh, then you, it'll, you'll see it there. And this does include the DLC, the Beneath the Ashes and Lara's Shadow. So that's exciting. Um, and in more news, uh, we ended up having a wonderful, wonderful announcement. The new comic book series, Survivor's Crusade, is coming. This is going to be really awesome. It's going to be continuing the story of Lara Croft's adventures after Rise of the Tomb Raider. So we're going to have four issues, and the first is going to be going on sale on November 22nd. Yep. Uh, it has some amazing writers for you. Uh, you can actually see some of the cover art as well on the screen right now. But you have writers like Jackson Lansing, Colin Kelly, but specifically the artists. Mm, I really, really love the art. Again, um, you can see the cover art right now. I actually have some of it up at my desk right now mm -hmm. because I really, really love it. Um, but the illustrator, Ashley Woods, has done some amazing yeah, work. She's and fantastic. She, yeah, it's, it's super great. So uh, we'll be having more news about that later on, but look forward to that. We're going to be having another series of comics come out from Dark Horse. Great. All right, who's excited for the movie? Tomb Raider movie, we are. So recently, Alicia Vikander was on the cover of Elle. Uh, it's one of the first big magazine features that she started to talk about her experience making the Tomb Raider movie. We cannot wait to show you and to see ourselves more of the content. I love a quote from there. She says, I've never done action scenes on this level, not even close. It feels like I'm back to dancing, the training and the intensity. So it's really cool to hear about her experience is shooting and uh, we can't wait to, to show you more from the movie. Mm -hmm. And actually, speaking of movies, uh, maybe you might have seen this. If you haven't, keep a close eye out. We're going to be posting it up in just a moment. But Ready Player One, the trailer just came out not too long ago. And if you look really closely, you'll see off in uh, <laughs> the side is a very, very iconic character. Our very own Lara Croft is in Ready Player One. And you can spot her if you have your eyes on there. So just look really closely and you might be able to pick her out. It's just really cool to see Laura along so many other geek culture icons. It's oh, just, yeah. it's a testament to her longevity as a character. And it's just, it's, the trailer is just something to geek out over. It's so amazing. <laughs> I'm excited for this movie. All right, so to end our news segment, we actually just want to give an industry, an industry shout out. So Uncharted The Lost Legacy just came out. We are obviously huge fans of action adventure games. Naughty Dog does great work. So congratulations to Naughty Dog. I cannot wait to get time to play. Uh, Chloe and Nadine are fantastic characters. And congratulations, Naughty Dog. Yeah, seriously. Like, your work is great, and we absolutely love it, and I'm excited to check it out. Yes. So, right. um, community spotlight time. Oh, yes. We have a bunch of awesome stuff from the community. So let me pull it up in just a second, and we should be good. Great. So each month we're going to showcase some of our fan works, and we're going to start off with the Crystal Community Showcase. And if you don't know what that is, it is actually a physical installation in our studio. So in our little cafeteria area up on the wall every month, we change out eight pieces of art from the community. And so we're going to go ahead and, and give them a shout out and show them off here on the screen. Um, we have a couple of pieces. We have a Gex piece, which is great this month. We love when we get the real Crystal Classics. So we have Gex and His Angels by Jonathan, Kiss of the Dragon by Boos and B. Uh, Rise of Tomb Raider Syria by Lisa Marie, The Tom Brader by Tom Brader and Robert Mirez, Emerge by Daryl Braun, Climbing to even more so show it off for everybody to see. We've gotten so many great things from the community and it's wonderful to honestly like be able to help broadcast that out for everyone. All your wonderful art and not just digital paintings but all sorts of cool Lots things. Lots of creative crafty things. Yeah, I've seen sculptures in it all. 
Um, in other news, August 2nd, August 2nd was an amazing day because it was National Coloring Book Day. And we ended up doing a really, really cool thing. We ended up getting a commission from a wonderful person, Tholia. Fantastic art, absolutely phenomenal. She ended up doing two different black and white pieces for us that we ended up showcasing for the community to fill out, yeah. to do whatever they wanted to. And we got some amazing submissions from <laughs> all sorts of really, really cool things. We had everything from paintings to crayons from really, really wonderful young We had some fans. little kids color some stuff in, which was super cool. Oh, yeah, that was amazing. Um, it, all sorts of stuff, like a monochromatic one that I personally really love. It's this, like, super, super stark gold and white um, contrast. I'll actually be posting a link to our entire album so you can check out all the different work, including be able to download those black and white photos for yourself so you can color it in. And, hey, if you want to, send it our way. Great. And so we're actually going to end the segment, the community segment, on a new fan film that just came out called Tomb Raider Legacy. So this fan film was created by Petra and Nora from Germany, who also star in it. Uh, they have been working on this for years and years, along with their talented cast and crew. I know it's been a massive labor of love. It's over a half hour long. It follows Lara's journey uh, on Yamatai, which is very exciting. Mm -hmm. And it has great production value, absolutely worth watching. So we're going to show you the trailer. Obviously, disclaimer, it's based off an M-rated game, so it does have some depictions of violence, but it uh, is a great trailer, and we think that you'll like it. So go ahead and check it out quick, and then after that, we're going to go over and show some Xbox, Xbox One, One X gameplay. Awesome. So enjoy. Ein berühmter Forscher hat einmal gesagt, was wir tun, ist besonders, nicht, was wir sind. Ich wollte mir einen Namen machen, Abenteuer nachjagen, aber stattdessen haben die Abenteuer mich gejagt.
Good? We're Good. back? We're back. Great. Okay, so we're going to play some Rise of the Tomb Raider on Xbox One X, but first, some introductions mm -hmm. are in order. This is Rich Briggs. Hi. Rich, you are the brand director here at Crystal Dynamics. Last I checked. Last you checked. Last I checked, too. Great. So you were just at Gamescom. Really exciting. You were there. Got to... We announced that, that Rise of the Tomb Raider was coming to Xbox One X while you were there. Uh, and fans were, had a chance to play it at the Xbox booth, right? Correct. Very cool. So do you want to tell us just a little bit about the project and the enhancements and why we're all so excited? Absolutely. Yes, we're, it's very exciting because Rise of the Tomb Raider, as you said, is going to be enhanced on Xbox One X on November 7th when the console launches. The patch will go live that same day. And we partnered with Nixie Software again, and you guys are familiar with them. They are absolutely phenomenal. They just, they can take a piece of hardware and just get every ounce of power out of it. Yeah. So they have worked some unbelievable magic with Rise of the Tomb Raider. I mean, it was already, in my opinion, a yeah. very beautiful game, but they have just pushed it to the next level, especially when you look at it in native 4K. It's just <laughs> unbelievable, the crispness, the fidelity on that image. And so that is something that we do need to give a, a little caveat about. So obviously you're watching through a stream, not necessarily on a 4K device. We have the pleasure of this giant beautiful TV in front of us and so on. So you can only really appreciate all the enhancements when you're at home and you have your 4K display and you get to see it in all of its beauty. But we're going to let Morgan play while we talk because it's fairly hard to talk and play at the same time. I don't know how streamers do it all the time when they're engaging with their audience and playing and not dying and all of that. So we're going to keep it simple. Morgan's going to play through some of the content at the beginning, show off the beautiful snow. We'll see if we can make it to, to yeah. Syria to show off some sand. For yeah. us, it takes a village to run a stream. <laughs> exactly. Do what they do, right? Exactly. Right it's, dude, it's a talent. It Multitasking like that is a talent. So uh, let's go through the modes specifically. Absolutely. So we've got three different modes that you can choose from. and, and we saw a lot of success with this on the you know, PlayStation 4 Pro version where people said, wow, we really appreciate the opportunity to be able to customize how we play the game. So we thought, okay, perfect opportunity for us to bring that back. So on Xbox One X, you will be able to choose from three different modes, one of which is native 4K that we just talked about. Mm -hmm. So the idea that you are gonna see basically the, the most high fidelity image we can possibly create. It is the highest fidelity Tomb Raider game ever made mm -hmm. when you're viewing it in native 4K. So it's just raw, uncut beauty. And then you have what we call the enriched visuals mode. Yeah. Now, this is actually my personal favorite because this is where you turn on all the, the graphic enhancements, you turn on all the technical bells and whistles as we, you know, that's the tech term, bells and whistles. <laughs> um, Actual Literally, sector. bells and whistles go off when you're when you're playing the game in enriched <laughs> visuals mode. Um, but it basically just means that you're we're throwing all the graphic enhancements on it, so you yeah. get the lushest, most vibrant, just the most rich image that you possibly can have. Um, and that's that's rendered in checkerboard 4K, so mm -hmm. it's still a 4K image, but in in checkerboard. Um, so really, really high quality there, and it just brings the world to life like never before. And then finally, for the people that are all about the itchy trigger finger, <laughs> high frame rate mode. And this, I like to turn on for the combat or for the high octane action sequences. You know, when well, when you're like hunting rabbits a tomb or something, it's really hunting important for rabbits, hunting. They are quick, so the high frame rate mode will allow you to get them. Okay. Just with pinpoint accuracy. All right, good to know. Um, so it, that's just what's going to deliver the, the silky smooth gameplay. It goes up to 60 frames per second throughout most of the game. Um, just really delivers, like I said, that, that high intensity for the high octane moments and for the combat. It just makes it the smoothest possible gameplay. Great. So there's a whole bunch of very specific enhancements that we can go through. So what are some of those? We've got the HDR. HDR support. Six. And this is a great one because it really makes the color representation more accurate. And, mm -hmm. and it basically, is it's doing its best to simulate what your eye sees in real life. <laughs> That's okay, so, Morgan. I mean, like... Everybody, she, she just died. immediately. No, right there, that's okay. That's World show, credit. No, that's on purpose yeah. to show that this is live gameplay. Yeah, exactly. This is not capture that we did in advance to make sure that you guys. This is this is this is us as Laura. Footage. This is a yes. normal person yeah, attempting to ice climb. This you thought that was a cinematic. Yeah. In other games, that would have been a cinematic. But like here, this is real gameplay. Uh, but yes, yeah, so HDR support is all about trying to. I would see in real life. Mm -hmm. So it means that you get a more accurate color representation. It means that it's much more vivid. It just, it, it is blurring that line even further between games and reality. Beautiful. 
getting closer and closer to I the know. Matrix, Megan. I know. I'm, you, I'm excited for that. We may already be in it. That's the scary part is we don't know. We could actually oh, man. If we are, I don't mind right being right in it. Is that terrible? We might be terrible. Okay. So, also, we got spatial audio support through Dolby Atmos. That's really exciting. It is, because you can have that. You're going to give me a heart attack. So that's the speakers on the yeah, ceiling yeah, setup. Yeah, that's when you yes. have pretty that next. It's pretty futuristic. And, and, and the game will actually detect whether or not you have Atmos running, and, and it'll, it'll make sure that it's customized the sound for your speaker setup. You can also use the uh, Atmos like go uh, Atmo headphones. And someone had mentioned that one of the beautiful parts of that is when like the helicopters fly overhead and you actually yeah, hear them goes, going past you. Well, you know, it goes back to front. It just it it's really pretty cool. just delivers even more immersion in the sound. You know, I, I love our sound design. I think we had so much to the overall experience. And when you literally were here, you know, know yeah. soldiers yeah. talking over there and but they're really And you can pinpoint where they are and yeah. you know you need to turn to the left because makes they're over look, that direction. <laughs> Demo it for your friends. Like, I know where they are. <laughs> all right, so we've also got enhanced texture resolutions for Lara NPCs environments, all of that, which is exciting. Uh, that's all leveraged because of the new memory. Look at this. Look at this. This is one of my favorite vistas in the entire game. It's Should beautiful. Be We're almost to the top. Just, you know, so imagine this, 4K, <laughs> textured, we've texturized everything. So it, yeah, I mean, when we're, when you've got that higher resolution texture, it just basically comes down to more detail. Yeah. So everything is more detailed in the world. And that's so nice, it, it feels like it gets the artists and the team and everybody works so hard and you get their true vision for the game. Yeah, I mean, the, the work that they've done is incredible and to see it as stunning as they envisioned it. Absolutely, again, we've got, we're close screen to something that we're done. looking at right now, so for all the viewers, you know, I Just promise last you're not going to be disappointed, but we're looking right. at like the, the, the what's threads up. in Jonah's turtleneck and the little seams in Lara's jacket. Like it yeah. looks like those big jackets that I wore when I was a kid. You know, on the, the snow yeah, absolutely. And additional enhancements, visual enhancements include Looks the volumetric like lights, here. improved reflections, enhanced I foliage. Have no idea what the volumetric right. lights do. I know they you make ready? the lights look Let's better. Go. Yeah. I think they turn up the volume on the lights. <laughs> so the lights get They just louder. turn the dial. Yeah, the lights get louder. <laughs> turn it to the left. Lights are at 11. <laughs> <laughs> upgraded polygonal detail, amplified texture filtering, lots of great enhancements. Steady. All right, so we're very excited about this. We do have some frequently asked questions. So we've been gathering questions from fans online as the announcement rolled out. So we're gonna run through some of those. So we've already gone through the three visual modes. Mm -hmm. So what's the difference between native 4K and checkerboard 4K? Because not everybody knows. So checkerboarding is basically a technique that mm -hmm. allows you to render a native 4K image. Yeah. So it's not gonna get you all the way to a true 4K image, but it will get you very, very close. They're very, with an untrained eye, I would say they're almost I, indistinguishable. I doubt you'll be able to pick it out, you know, especially if you're going to do these things on the ground. You know, <laughs> uh, will not really be able to tell the difference. You know, so you know exactly what you look for, and that's why we use the checkerboarding in the image visuals because we're turning on yeah. everything else. Whereas when we don't have all those developers uh, that we previously talked about turned on, then you can get shit. that true native 4K signal. So again, that, that signal is the highest like fidelity possible for mm -hmm. 4K right. I'll give you some slack. Great. Why do, uh, what does the frame rate, the high frame rate mode achieve? Is the frame rate locked in any of the three modes? So the high frame rate mode will get you to 60 frames per second across most mm -hmm. of the game. And the other modes, like uh, uh, the enriched visual and the native 4K, then you're going to be at 30 frames per second. And how do you change between these modes? It's as easy as you can possibly hope for. You just, wow, Morgan, really? This was so beautiful that she just wanted us to see it again. Okay. No. Yeah, no, it's fine. distracted by the vista. It's great. <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's good. All right. Second you're officially, time's on purpose. You're officially one of the team third now time. because we all yeah. die during demos. Yeah, third so. time, we're going to start charging you a dollar. Like, <laughs> all right. A dollar per death. You've had your great um, but yeah, so then we get to the 30 frames per second across the other boat. You still got the run out, so good luck. <laughs> okay, um, what sort of audio setup? Do you need to take advantage of the Atmos spatial? We already talked about that. I think you can either be the actual speaker setup or the headphones and it'll detect, which is great. 
um, when will it, will the New Hampshire update release on Xbox One? On November 7th. The day of. So it's easy. If you already have Rise of the Tomb Raider on Xbox One, you will you get me? the upgrade for free. Yeah. So Great. Come through, the first time that you log you on, up. you've got your shiny new Xbox One X, and you'll get a patch. All the tech improvements will come through. If you've got all the 20 year celebration content, all of that will get the tech improvements as well. So it'll be very, very seamless and very, very easy. Exciting. Is there a physical edition of Rise of the Tomb Raider for sale on Xbox One X? There's not a physical edition because the, the update is a digital patch. Basically. So it's a ton of enhancements, but for all intents and purposes, you are going to be getting a patch. And mm -hmm. uh, you know, the way that Microsoft does it, it's sort of got that Xbox One family. So if you've got the One or the yeah. S or the X, if you buy an Xbox One physical edition and then you put it in your Xbox One X, it's going to work just then. Yeah, exactly. So like you don't need a separate. So if you already did purchase Rise of the Tomb Raider on the Xbox One, how do you get the enhanced update on your Xbox One X? You literally just start playing the game. And it'll say, update available. Say update available. You can do it. You got this. Come on, Morgan. You got this, Morgan. Yeah, I mean, we tried to make it as easy as possible. You know, it's, we're not just trying to make everybody go out and buy a new copy of the game just yeah. to get the enhancement. It's, hey, if you've got it on Xbox One or you're playing now on you can Xbox enjoy One it S, more. So here's your tech upgrades. And if you haven't, Platform, I would just. <laughs> lots of great content and lots of yeah, great this hands. Is, this is, this is pretty much you know, native 4K. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're pushing all, all the stuff on. So, we also have questions about can you use your Xbox One save game file on the Xbox One X? Yes, you can. If you have it already on the cloud, on the Xbox Live Cloud, um, then. Oh no! Oh, you got it! You got it! Big jump! Big jump! That looks like it's such an impossible Don't jump. Yes. Okay. Great job. All right. Well, that was actually the last question that we had. Is there anything else you want to share with our viewers about the Xbox One X enhancements? We're really excited. You know, again. A little bit biased on this side, but um, taking what was a very immersive, very beautiful experience and just adding that extra level yeah. that really dials everything up. You know, it's 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 really amazing to see the cinematics and the, the game. Um, depending on what mode you're playing in, you, you start to notice so many different things. You know, yeah. I, I mean, there was there, there are parts where you literally are, are like, okay. I can now find collectibles easier even in some places because the level of detail is so high. So. And we're getting to see one of the uh, cutscenes now, which is, it's really impressive. Lara's facial express and expressions and the nuances in her face and so on. I just, I love them. It's so impressive. So yeah, so when, when, when you add in the three different modes, when you add in all the tech upgrades, you know, Nixies has just outdone themselves and we're really excited for everybody to be able to experience this on November 7th when the uh, upgrade and the enhancements launch. Thank you very much. So we're going to uh, be back again in just a moment. We're going to do our product showcase. So hang in there for just a second. We will be back momentarily.
Are we back? Are we back? And we are back. We are back. All right, so now we are going to take a look at this amazing LC2 statue. We are joined by associate brand manager, Katie Swindlehurt. I'm just kidding, her name is Swindlehurst, but I call her Swindlehurt, which makes no sense because she's the nicest, sweetest, sweetest person. Aw, thanks, Megan. Happy to be here. Hi, everybody. So Katie actually has been doing a ton of work uh, with the company on the statues, and so we thought it'd be fun to have her talk a bit about the production of the statues and so on. So do you want to tell us a little bit about the company that made them and, and so on? Yeah, definitely. So. This beautiful statue here was created by, in partnership with Gaming Heads. Um, you can check out their site at GamingHeads.com. And you can tell that we work with them because their quality is amazing. Yes. Um, there's detailed shots of the statue online. I highly recommend checking it out. Um, and it's a great partnership. We work together very well creatively. Um, we send back feedback back and forth to make sure Laura looks her best. And she looks phenomenal in this statue. So I think the process is actually pretty interesting. So we start by sending reference materials, right? Lots and lots of reference yeah. materials. We'll actually give them the 3D model of the character, correct? Yes. And then from there, what do they do? From there, they make the awesome action poses you see here. Um, and then once we confirm the render, everything is 3D rendered first. Then we do some 3D printing. We get the mold. Then all of these statues get printed, and each one is individually hand painted. The yeah. amount of detail is incredible. So it's 3D printed, they make a mold, and they cast them, and they hand paint them, yes. which is just, yeah. I didn't realize that. But actually, Gaming Heads, if you follow them on Facebook, they post a lot of behind the scenes pictures, which yeah. was very yes. interesting to see the process. It's also a little unnerving because they post like the stress <laughs> test photos and videos, which are basically yeah. them taking the box, which we can show this box, and they just drop it. They just throw it on the floor to make sure that it's safe in its package and it won't get damaged when it comes to you. This beautiful box, it's so nice. So yeah, it's, it's fun. You should definitely check out Gaming Heads on Facebook. Um, they, they do post a lot of behind the scenes stuff, which is just cool to see that process and just hundreds of statues lined up. So um, there's two editions, correct? Yes. So there's, this one is the exclusive one? So this is the exclusive one. And the regular one just does not have the Temple of Osiris, which is on Laura's back here. Um, the regular edition, I think, is still on wait list. Um, it's sold out currently, but you can always check back. But this one is still available online. They retail for about three fifty nine. 99 USD dollars. So. Cool. And we did want to mention, so there was, you know, our fans have been waiting patiently for these statues. Uh, it was a couple of years before, between the announcement and them shipping. They are shipping this week. I think we've been showing some pictures mm -hmm. of our fans happily posing with the statues. But one thing about gaming heads that we want to stress is that they were delayed in order to ensure quality. So yes. we've been seeing the fan reactions, and once they've had them in their hands, they said it's worth the wait. What I thought was actually really great is one of the reasons it was delayed is uh, they posted pictures, and the fans were not happy with the face paints. And so they actually went back to the drawing board and repainted yes. every single face based on comments on Facebook. And, yes. and I think if you look at the beautiful pictures on GamingHeads.com, you see uh, how amazing She's so intense. Yeah, her, her face, face is, is so beautiful. intense. It's so, you know, it's just, the, it's very Lara. Yes. I love it. So we think that it was worth it. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yes. So, so if you ordered one, should we get one soon? Yes, they you should. should. Definitely this month. tweet us photos of them. Send us photos. We'll, we'll retweet them and share them and so on. We're excited to see people posing with their, with their statues excitedly. I can't wait to get mine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All of our fans have been they getting them, been. but because <laughs> we ordered them as a studio, all of us ordered them. They arrive on a pallet, which is slower to ship. Yes. So you guys get your statues <laughs> before us. I'm just going to take this one. If, I, you know, if, I take if anybody gets to take one home early, it's you. You're do <laughs> we're doing all of that work. All right. Well, thank you very much, Katie. Thank you. We are going to take one more momentary break. Then we're going to do our giveaways. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with our Logitech giveaways.
Okay. We're back. We're back. And we know that you guys have been waiting patiently for some giveaways. So we are going to <laughs> give away a bunch of Logitech goodies. And these are really nice. I was just handed a bag and then I looked at it and I was like, wow. These are nice goodies. Okay, so we're going to start off. Actually, do you want to recap how people how, how this works? Yeah, so really quickly, I'm going to post some rules in chat just really, you know, really fast. Uh, the T's and the T's, that sort of stuff, just so that you can understand what we're going to be doing for our giveaway. You should see that in chat really quickly. Uh, so those are all the general rules. And as a recap, we will be doing the um, the giveaway to people in chat who are in one of the following locations. So we will be doing the giveaway for people who are in the 50 states of the United States of America, District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, Canada, except for Quebec. Sorry, Quebec. We still love you. <laughs> and the United Kingdom. That being said, to be able to enter into chat is going to be really, really easy because in just a second, you're going to see me type in a word. It's going to start off with exclamation mark Logitech. So if you type exclamation mark Logitech in chat, you will be automatically entered into our giveaway. So what do we actually have coming up first? Okay, so the first item, here we go, is the G640 Large Cloth Gaming Mouse Pad. So this is a value of $39.99, and I have these bullet points from the website, so I will read off some of them yeah. for you. It has moderate surface friction. This is a really serious mouse pad for people who are, you know, obviously, Logitech G is a gaming brand. Mm -hmm. If you take your PC gaming very seriously, this is something that will be a, a lot of value to you. So moderate surface friction, consistent surface texture. It is matched to Logitech G sensors. Um, it has a rubber base and it rolls very easily for transport. As you can see, it's quite large. Oh, it's yeah. awesome. So the G640 large cloth gaming mouse pad is the first item. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be pulling up the winner in just a little bit. I'm going to give a little bit more time in chat for everyone in case you're a slow poke and you haven't been posting it already. Remember, exclamation mark Logitech. Um, why not Germany? I am so sorry, Germany. But yeah, so if we, to, to be totally transparent, it's obviously, it's very difficult for us to do worldwide contests. We have to have rules in place for anything we give away, even a small digital code. And uh, as of right now, we're only able to get uh, the T's and C's in place, the terms and conditions in place for the states, Canada. I think Quebec is used to not being included in things, poor, poor, unfortunately, poor, poor, poor because Quebec. they have very strict sweepstakes rules. Um, and, and the United Kingdom. We're going to try to work to improve that. It's a process that we're always doing because we know we have a huge international community and we, we don't want anyone to feel left out. So we're going to try to keep adding countries to our giveaway lists as we get new legal rules rolled out. Mm -hmm. So that's a, <laughs> you know, it's kind yeah. of like a very heady sort of explanation in terms of it has to, it's tied to legal rules, mm -hmm. but. And Lady Croft 89, yes, you can enter. Um, the United Kingdom is still within the realm of yes. places that you can enter. So feel, uh, make sure to type in exclamation mark Logitech. And I think we're good to do our first giveaway. So let's see. Who is the very first winner? And over Morgan. Over Morgan. Congratulations. <laughs> is that you? No, that's are not you, me. Are you no. like entering no, I, on a different window? I mean, I could be. I really like this stuff, but no. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to get the shipping address and yeah. it's going to be the desk next to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, congratulations, Over Morgan. So Great. we're going to be messaging you and getting your details because we'll want to be able to ship this to you. So we'll want to get your address that we can ship this and all those details squared away. So make sure to check your inbox because after this stream, we will be messaging you. Great. And what do we have up next? The second item is the G703 Lightspeed Wireless Gaming Mouse. And so this is the white version. It retails for $99.99. Uh, and do we want to start the contest and then I'll, and then I'll go over, yeah. um, oh, it's, it's still pulling it right now. Oh, it's so. still pulling. Great. Yeah, so we can keep going. Right. All right. So it says it has a light speed, wireless gaming grade performance, um, ergonomically designed power play wireless charging compatible, which is super cool. Mm -hmm. Anything that's wireless charging is nice. Um, adjustable weight system, programmable RGB lighting, onboard memory, six pro programmable buttons and programmable DPI settings. So it is a very advanced Logitech G703 Lightspeed Wireless Gaming Mouse in white. Mm -hmm. And 
see who the lucky winner is. Do, do, do. All right. <laughs> Vicious Possum. Congratulations, Aww. Vicious Possum. I've never met a possum, but I feel like that's giving them a bad name. Uh, Are possums mean? I have met. I mean, I don't know about this one. I, I assume this one is vicious. Not not necessarily okay. all ones are vicious. Um, but congratulations. We're going to be, again, messaging you to get your details so that we can end up shipping you your wonderful goodies. So, what do we have up next? Next is the same thing, but in black. <laughs> so, I can reread the... Nice I can reread re the uh, features. So it's again, it's the G703 Lightspeed Wireless Gaming Mouse in black. Retails for $99.99. Um, so it has, it's the ergonomically designed. It's got the wireless charging, power play compatibility, adjustable weight system, programmable RGB lighting, onboard memory, six programmable buttons, and programmable DPI settings. So He says only vicious when cornered. Which makes that's sense. fair. Yeah, that's that, fair. I mean, that, that applies to a lot, I think. That, I think that so. makes sense. And let's see. Lady underscore LC. I wonder what LC stands for. Congratulations. <laughs> you are the winner. Congrats. Very cool. Um, we're going to be messaging you again. I know I keep saying this, but I just want to remind y'all because we want to make sure that you can get your gifts, your wonderful, wonderful goodies. So uh, keep your eye out on the. Uh, inbox for a coming message from us. Um, do, do, do. No, you do not have to type it in for each draw. We're doing just a cumulative draw for all the entries, so don't worry. Um, and if you just type it in once, you should be good. So, what do we have up next? So, up next, we have a really awesome keyboard. And I actually Aww. have a keyboard like this from Logitech. <laughs> so, this is the G213. Prodigy RGB gaming keyboard. So it values at $69.99 and its bullet points are gaming grade performance, crisp br brilliant RGB lighting zones, which is super cool seeing it light up different colors. I love that. Spill resistant and durable, which is probably why I have one. Yeah. As Morgan will attest to, I knock over my coffee at least two times a week onto something electronic. Maybe three. Uh, integrated palm rest and adjustable feet. Dedicated media controls. Super handy. Customized with Logitech gaming software. Okay, so this is the G213 Prodigy RGB gaming keyboard. Uh, Jamin's just spotted the Atlas actually on the table. Isn't it cool? I know. All right. Uh, let's see who's the winner for this wonderful keyboard. Do, do, do. Izzy, one, two, three, five, six. You, you skipped the four. Um, <laughs> congratulations, you won. Congrats. So um, we're going to be messaging you really quickly in just a little bit after the stream's done. But again, congratulations. Wonderful. And... We have one goodie left. Ooh. And we're saving the best one for last. I actually rotated it so that it was last because I realized we want to save this one for last. Okay, ready? So mm -hmm. this is the G810 Orion Spectrum RGB Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. It retails for $159.99. It's very, very nice. And all right, so the, the uh, features are pure performance-driven design, ultra-responsive, Romer G mechanical key switches. I love the mechanical keyboards. It feels They're good. so tactile. It's just so nice sounding. Yeah. Makes I, you feel really productive. I like my little clicky keyboard. Clicky clack. Um, customizable, customizable RGB lighting, again, so you can see how it, it lights up in different zones, which is super cool. Easy access media control, customizable with Logitech gaming software, 26 key rollover, and three step angle adjustments. So this is a really, really nice keyboard. I actually have this keyboard at my home and it is absolutely the best thing ever. You can set up little custom color schemes and everything like that. So I have some for different games that I'm playing just so that I can have it lit up and it kind of matches like if I'm doing WASD or anything like that. Fantastic keyboard. And this fantastic keyboard goes to Ladycroft89. Congratulations, Ladycroft89. Um, <laughs> lots of Ladycrofts, lots of LCs, lots of... Yeah, it makes sense. You're it a croft. Makes sense. 
Um, congratulations. So congrats, we're everyone. Be messaging you in chat in just a little bit after the stream to get your address, and then we can hopefully get your gift to you pretty soon. So Great. congratulations, everyone. And don't worry, um, even if you didn't win anything this stream, there's going to be plenty of streams to come. So we have sure lots of goodies to give away. Oh, yeah. We have a whole closet that we need to clean out. So we will continue to do lots of giveaways on subsequent streams. All right. Yeah. Well, that's basically the rest of our show. So mm -hmm. thank you guys so much for watching. We really, really appreciate you tuning in. Um, we'll be back next month for another uh, Crystal Compass Live, mm -hmm. likely towards the end of the month. Um, and we're really, really interested in your feedback. So you can reach us at feedback at crystald.com. Uh, this is our first live stream in studio. Morgan's been working her butt off to get all of the tech secured and tested and she's done test streams like crazy so we worked really hard to get this up and running smoothly obviously anytime you start a new endeavor with new equipment in a new place there's going to be some hiccups so we appreciate you hanging in there with us but if you do have any suggestions um even you know it can be technical feedback or just things you want to see in the future uh yeah. program features ideas yeah, do you want guest to... interviews anything like that we we would love to hear it so that's feedback at crystald.com yep and i posted the email in chat so just feel free to use that send us your feedback send us your thoughts you know what you liked what you didn't like what you want to see more of we'd love to hear it like this ultimately we want to hear from you the community so that we can make a stream that's really great for you and, and in the future, hopefully, we'll get to do more than yeah. a monthly basis. We're looking forward to doing regular streams in the oh, future. Yes, indeed. So Morgan's actually going to work to get this archived also. So we'll get it up. Uh, it'll be on Twitch and then also on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you didn't, if you have someone, a friend who didn't have a chance to tune in or so on, they'll be able to watch this later. Yes, indeed. And we're going to be wrapping this up with a very, <laughs> very classic uh, piece. So... One of our actual original loading screens for Crystal Dynamics, where you get to see our logo. Um, the logo in particular actually is really fun because it ties to our name. Mm -hmm. So Crystal Dynamics, the when we first came at when we when we first appeared as a company, we wanted to have a name that had a very certain spelling to it so that it could be read as CD, Crystal Dynamics. Because CDs were new. Yes. Yeah, and they were so cool. Super cool. Like, way better than VHSs <laughs> or Betamaxes. Yeah. I, I, I actually really love Betamaxes, even though it's, like, super archaic. But... That being said, they wanted to stay modern, super, super modern with something that said CD. And because of that, we have this also ultra modern trailer for you, which is from one of the original loading screens that we will be playing in just a little bit to close out. So again, thank you everyone who showed up to watch us for our first stream. This has been an absolute joy. I've loved this. Yes. I, this is a great experience. And we will chat with you later. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thank you.